Hey guys, it's Ted Bogert. Welcome back to the Ted Show. I'm excited to have this young gentleman. What did we say? Vintage, uh, seasoned <laughs> was Hank's words. Uh, back on the Ted Show. He's an old friend. Okay, a seasoned friend. Uh, Hank Van Putten is on the show. He's here to talk about his new book, More Yesterdays Than Tomorrows. I love that title. I know there's a lot of uh, interesting background on this, Hank, and I'm excited mm -hmm. for you to share everything and all things about your book. Welcome mm -hmm. back to the show, my friend. How are you doing? Thanks, Ted. Uh, I re again, I really appreciate this opportunity just to, um, first of all, have some conversation with you, but also to share about uh, the book and uh, hopefully make some connections with folks that they'll want to go out and buy it. Well, you and I connected um, thanks to Vanessa Eccles, I believe. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. love her. Uh, she was doing her podcast. Mm -hmm. And that was such an eye-opening experience. Uh, if you haven't watched Hank and I talk about that or a copy of that podcast, I have it on my link tree. Uh, but that was such an amazing eye-opening experience for me. Mm -hmm. And so I uh, have a great deal of respect for Hank. But I want him to share a little bit about his background and what he has done and continues to do uh, in our community. Sure. Um, okay. So I hope I don't take too long with this. <laughs> but uh, um, I'm a, uh, I am a retired middle school principal. Um, I um, had worked in the town of Newton, Massachusetts uh, for 35 years. I started out as an elementary PE teacher and then a middle school PE teacher. Um, along the way there, I also directed a day camp at the Cambridge YMCA. Um, I was a head coach of track and field at one of our of the district's high schools. Um, and then as uh, is wanted to be said, I went over to the other side and became an administrator, um, first as an assistant principal in a middle school, and then as an interim principal in an elementary school, and then lastly as a middle school uh, principal, a uh, role that I had for about five or six years before I retired uh, in 2009. Now, the, um, the story of my retirement, which, which I talk about in the book, um, happened because um, I was seeking to find my high school sweetheart, and I wanted to find a way to get to Orlando. And uh, what I discovered was that there was an ASCD, Association for Supervision, Curriculum, and Development, um, national conference um, being held in Orlando, uh, and again, coincidentally, a, a colleague uh, said, you know, we've been doing some research on some on middle schools. Um, I'm going to submit a uh, request for proposal. If it's accepted, would you like to go? I said, sure, absolutely. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, I came, you know, for that. But then I also was able to connect with uh, with my wife, Gail. Um, we hadn't seen one another since high school, uh, going back that far. And um, wow. It was, it was it's absolutely wonderful you know to be at this point in my life and to have someone with me you know who has um been along the same journey um uh, gail and i hadn't seen it to be. Hmm? say it again it was meant to be it was meant to be um uh you know um when uh when i got to the uh it's interesting when i i was i was catching a flight from um boston and i had to make a connecting flight in uh in new york and i was sitting um uh, in JFK, you know, waiting for my connecting flight and my phone rang um, and it was Gail. And um, she says, are you still coming? Uh, I said, yeah, you know, I was going to give you a call, you know, once I got there. Uh, she said, well, I, what's your flight number? And, you know, and I'll be sure there to pick you up. And, you know, and then the rest became history, as they said. Uh, awesome. So, uh, you know, after about uh, a year or so, that was like around, that was 2009. Um, after about a year or so, uh, you know, I still had the passion to want to teach and to want to, you know, work with, um, with, with young folks. And uh, in this case, it turned out to be uh, college students because um, you know, all of my previous experience had been K through 12. Uh, so I applied for a position at uh, Valencia College. Um, and I taught the uh, new student experience uh, for about four or five years. Uh, and along the way, I connected with Rachel Allen, who was director of the Peace and Justice Initiative, as it was at the time, um, became the Peace and Justice Institute. Uh, and then um, quite, uh, I'll say unceremoniously, about um, a year and a half, 18 months ago, 24 months ago, um, with the new legislation around um, uh, parental rights, um, 
all of the diversity, equity, and inclusion work that is done in Florida that is publicly funded was halted. Uh, so all of the courses that I had been teaching were stopped and um, PJI was asked, I'll use that word kindly, uh, to, uh, to, to not be at Valencia anymore. And PJI is now a nonprofit uh, here in the Orlando area doing uh, really some uh, magnificent things. Uh, you know, currently a, a big project is working um, in uh, Seminole County with the, um, it's called a resilient resilience project um, that includes trauma informed instruction and teaching uh, the constituents about ACEs, adverse childhood experiences uh, and their impact not only on, on children under 18 when, uh, uh, as they're growing up, but also the impact that that has on, on them as they um, move into adulthood. Um, and we've had the opportunity to uh, work with five schools, um, all of the faculty, um, the, the uh, parent constituency, uh, and coming up uh, in about a um, week or two, we're going to start um, a series of uh, student summits where we're going to have um, a group of, of 70, 50 to 75 students uh, for an entire day to um, um, teach with them and to work with them and to uh, help them understand about what ACEs are uh, and how that can uh, impact them and uh, what they can do to prevent it. Um, so that's um, that, that, awesome. brings, that brings you pretty much up to date. I'm, I'm sad about um, about the changes. That's a whole nother show that I'd love to have at some point. Sad, angry, frustrated. I'm sure I'm preaching to the choir with you, uh, but I am happy to hear that they are still uh, thriving and making an impact in our world, which is much, much needed. Indeed. Uh, so talk to me about the book. I love the title, More Yesterdays Than Tomorrows. Mm -hmm. What was the impetus behind this book? Well, all right. So um, I was um, finishing up my uh, master's work. Um, this goes back almost 30, 35 years. Uh, and there was an assignment that the uh, professor asked us to do. Uh, I, I do not remember what the assignment was. Um, I know that I do remember we had a lot of latitude as to how we could go about completing it. And so I decided to uh, write about my life and to write about um, my time in education up to uh, that point. Um, and I, I guess he liked it because <laughs> I got a good grade on it. And then I put it away. I just you know had it filed away. Um, I'm going to say maybe about seven or eight years ago, um, uh, I was attending a reunion uh, with some friends back home in New York City, in, uh, Jamaica, New York. Uh, and um, someone uh, I had shared with someone one of the uh, chapters that I had written about, and it had to do with my our time as choir members at the church choir. And so I pulled out the, uh, you know, what I had written and I did some more editing on it and I added a little bit and I got an opportunity to share, you know, with that, with, with those folks, um, um, old friends, I'll say, seasoned friends, vintage friends. Uh, and so um, I put it away again and put it back into the fold, you know, in my file cabinet. And um, I, it was probably, let me see, a little about two years ago. Um, uh, Gail said to me, you know, you, you got that that uh, that, that uh, kind of autobiography thing there that you were working on. I've, you know, I've seen it a little bit. You know, you should just finish it. I said, yeah, OK, you know, I'll, I, I'll get to it. Uh, and then last January, um, I made a commitment that I was going to finish it. And I should add that the that the commitment came again from her pushing me. <laughs> and she just said to me, just finish it. Uh, and so I sat down and I started it and I started and I kept writing and I kept writing. And um, obviously, you know, from 30 from, from 35 years ago, there was a whole lot more to write about. Uh, and um, that, that that's how it all, you know, came together. Uh, it took about, oh, I'm going to say through September, August, September, you know, to finish it. Now, you know, I was working with, a, with an editor, um, kept giving me feedback and developing it. And um, then eventually, you know, we got to the point, well, you know, Hank, when do you want to have it, you know, get it out? What's the release date? I said, well, let's, let's go for December 1st, uh, which is, of course, right in the middle of the holiday season. So the, uh, you know, the, the, the publisher and the printer, you know, were obviously very um, um, 
busy. So it just came, then it just came out, uh, you know, at the, at the beginning of January. Uh, and uh, I was just really excited and, and um, just thrilled, you know, to see it and to begin to share it with people. What, um, what part of the book, what part of writing the book, looking back at the 35 years and kind of picking up, uh, were you most surprised about? What, what thing as you were writing um, did you find that was surprising or enlightening or you had forgotten about? I, I find that when we write, when we pick things up, we go back and then it takes us back to a feeling or an emotion or a memory. Uh, did you have that experience? Yes. Um, you know, and, and there were some things that I said, okay, I'm just going to leave these couple of these little details and things out, um, you know, I, because it would have required me to go into even more detail um, right. and to really to, um, you know, pick my brain, if you will, about, you know, what, what actually happened there. Um, but, but there were, um, I think the, 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 for me, the hardest part of, uh, of writing it uh, and finishing it um, was when I got to, you know, some really um, difficult experiences uh, that had happened uh, over time. And um, it, it, it came across in the book, um, you know, the, the, uh, the editor that I was working with um, was very, uh, I was surprised, was very pleased with, with my writing, but then also how um, th there was one particular part where she, um, she said, you know, this part really choked me up. Uh, you know, I had to really catch my breath here a bit as I was, you know, reading it through. Uh, so the, the, um, the emotion um, that, that came through, that comes through, I, I think, um, is one that everyone, uh, you know, has the opportunity to um, reflect on for themselves. Um, you know, I, I, I say that in the, um, in the, uh, on the back cover about the power of story and about people um, connecting with one another through the power of story. Uh, so, you know, when I talk about my first days in elementary school, everybody had a first day in elementary school, you know, well, what was that like? Um, you know, back then, um, and, and I'm talking about, you know, the late 50s, early 60s, uh, back then you went home for lunch. Uh, and, and going home for lunch for me uh, was oftentimes a tutorial time with my dad. Uh, you know, about what was going on in school in that day. You know, I'm like seven or eight, nine years old, but, you know, here I am with my little desk uh, at home having lunch and and he's, uh, you know, drilling me on things that, <laughs> that I should know about or having me spell words and, and things. So, um, you know, it, it's important for people, I think it's important for people you know, as, as they read the book, you know, to reflect on, on their own on life experiences um, because um, by and large, we've all, um, had those experiences, you know, in one way or another, um, you know, maybe not, you know, directly, um, but, uh, you know, vicariously or by degrees of separation. I love it. And I, I, I do remember, I'm old enough to remember going home for lunch. <laughs> uh, today, I have no earthly idea what that even means. Uh, it's, I want to comment on the title. Uh, when I first read the title, my initial reaction was a sadness, right? Because there's a, you're facing your mortality sort of in the title of the book. You have more yesterdays than tomorrows. But then um, I just reframed it. I think it's got such a positive, to me, it's a positive title. You can be reflective, but you can also be positive and use it as a motivator. Uh, that's right. You have more yesterdays than tomorrow. So you better utilize your present and your tomorrows uh, in a more impactful way. What is it that you want to, what legacy do you want to leave um, when you leave this earth, Hank? Yeah, the, the good, good observation and, and, and good question. Um, my, um, we have a blended family, um, uh, Gail and I, and we have um, uh, 10 grandchildren, uh, 11th is on the way, um, and one great grandchild. And, and the, the older grandchildren are oftentimes or have oftentimes asked me about, you know, well, tell me about the, the Van Putten family. And you know what do you, what 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 do what do I need to know? Um, so there was a lot of um, um, impetus to share my story with them, and then there's also some um, sharing of of the of the Van Putten history uh, in the in the book as well. Uh, but but the, the the you picked up on a really good point there about uh, more yesterdays than tomorrow and, and mortality, um, because there's a uh, there came a point. Um, sometime for me within the last decade or so uh, where 
I realized I'm like more than halfway through my journey here. <laughs> yeah. And, and um, you know, I don't know how many more, you know, tomorrows I have. Um, you know, I, I, I thank the Lord every day, you know, for giving me life until my work is complete and work until my life is done. Uh, and I don't know what the form that work may take, but each and every day, you know, I can see, you know, what the Lord is laying out for me uh, to be sure that I do. Uh, so, you know, the, the title More Yesterdays and Tomorrow was a was a was um, um, an opportunity for me to, to reflect on my, not only on my life and, and my mortality, um, but also, as you said, to put a, um, and you didn't say it exactly this way, but I will put a positive spin on it. Uh, you know, the, the, the fact that, that um, I've, I have had um, a great life, uh, you know, and, and I think that um, some people have not been as fortunate as I've been. Uh, and to be able, you know, to share about, you know, what my yesterdays were uh, so that folks can also consider their yesterdays and, and find the positive um, in their yesterdays. Um, you know, the, the, the subtitle, subtitle of the book um, is, is, is um, oh, I'm blanking on my own <laughs> subtitle, <laughs> paying, it, paying it forward to a time I will not see. Um, and that's something that, that um, a phrase that I, I use often in, in, uh, when I'm facilitating a, you know, a course or, or doing a session with a group of people, um, is that um, what I am bringing to you um, uh, I hope that you will take it forward and pay it forward, uh, you know, to someone else. Um, and I often preface it by saying, you know, I'm, there's nothing wrong with my health and, you know, and I'm not, you know, about to uh, leave this earth, but um, I do want to pay forward things, you know, to a time that I will not see. Uh, when I um, when I have the, the, the pleasure to interact with former students, um, you know, through social media, um, oftentimes they will bring up points and in, in, in about our time together, you know, in, in the gymnasium, the physical education center. Um, gym is the room. Physical education is the That's name cool. of the of the of the course that goes on, you know, in the in the room. But they'll oftentimes share things that, wow, I didn't think you all would remember that. Um, you know, I've had some students say, you know, the, the messages and things that you've shared with me. Um, I've taken those messages and, and I'm sharing them now with my with my children. Um, and in some cases, students that, that I am still in contact with are now grandparents, which is even wow. more yesterday <laughs> than tomorrow. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that, that that's that, that's where the where the title came from. You know, I, I went back and I was trying to figure out, you know, what was what would be a title that would would make people um, want to open up the book and, and, and look at it and. Um, more yesterdays than tomorrows. Um, at some point, we all reached reached there that that uh, that uh, milestone where we realize, wow, you know, I'm more than halfway through this, and I don't know, you know, how much longer this is going to go, but I'm going to enjoy it to its fullest. Well, I can say without any doubt that the ripple effect that you have had, because you, I'll say it, you're a kind-hearted, thoughtful pay it forward kind of human being, very sharing of your spirit and your ideas and your um, just your support of people. You're an advocate through and through. And so I have no doubt in my mind that that ripple effect of paying it forward uh, is large, incredibly large. And I oh, definitely am someone who was impacted by you. You are welcome. All right. Tell them the best way they can find you and find out more about the book. And you have an upcoming book uh, signing. Don't have a date yet, but share a little bit about that with them. As well. Sure. Um, the book is available um, on Amazon Books. Uh, it's also, um, I think it's called Kindle because um, I, I don't use it. I, I just think that, that I think that's what it's called. Um, but it's available on, on Amazon Books. Um, um, we were talking a little bit earlier about a website and my website is, is ready, but I'm not ready to put it out there just yet. Um, however, um, there is, I haven't picked a date for the book signing, but I'm looking toward the end of March, uh, and it'll be, um, uh, at the, uh, writer's block workshop, uh, here in winter park, Florida. Um, and I hope to have, uh, you know, a lot of people come on out and just hang out some and hopefully purchase the book and, and we'll have some good conversation there. Uh, you know, the, 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 the experience of writing um, is not something that um, 
I ever thought that I would do. Uh, you know, uh, it, it's, uh, I, I remember that somehow or other, I was the editor of a school newspaper back in fourth or fifth grade or something. And it had one, one, one edition that came out. But um, one of the things that I write about in the, in the book is winning a, a writing contest. Uh, and I won't say any more about it, you know, than that. You'll have to, you know, uh, read the book, read the book and, and, you know, and find out more about that. But um, I did not, um, I have, I have made the, the mental um, switch that I'm a writer um, and, uh, and it's, it's okay if, 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 uh, if you don't like everything that I say, but it's important that you have your own opportunity to share your thoughts as well, because um, your journey may parallel mine or it may be different from mine, but it's, it's your story. And again, you know, the power of story um, connects us. Uh, one of my um, one of the people that um, I really um, appreciate uh, is a woman named um, Emily Jane Style, um, who's written many years ago um, an article called, about uh, curriculum as windows and mirrors. Um, windows being where um, you have the opportunity to share with others, you know, what's important to you and why it's important to you. And at the same time, mirrors are the reflection of those other folks experiences that look like your experiences or are similar to your experiences. And so when I think about, you know, windows and mirrors and and what I have shared with folks, and then also um, as time has gone on, what folks have shared with me, where I can see myself in their story, even though I wasn't there. Um, but um, connecting with folks and um, making folks um, just feel human and making a human connection with others is, is just so very important, you know, certainly, you know, in, in, in the times in which we live. And you do it well, my friend. Hank. Van Putten, thank you for being on the show again. <laughs> More yesterday's than tomorrow's. Reach out to Hank. Go to his social media, which we have tagged here. Uh, what a blessing to have you on. I'm super excited to read the book. And I'm blessed by you, my friend. I mean that so much. All right, guys. Reach out to Hank. Go check it out. You're not going to be sorry. I can promise you that. All right. Everybody have a good one. Thank you so much, Hank. Okay. Take care now. Take care. Bye-bye.